Hi, it's Robert. I'm here with another tutorial on Crops, a plugin for Capture One that does automatic cropping. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the Cropped plugin with Capture One process recipes that allows you to set up different recipes for different types of cropping. So let's first go over to where the process recipes are in Capture One. And in the tool section on the left hand side, click the gear icon and there's the recipes. Now I've already created a video on creating recipes for different social media platforms. I will link to that below and right here on the screen somewhere. But this one, we're going to be creating recipes that I guess you could use for social media, but the, the idea is that they're pulling, they're using the crop plugin to crop the image as the last step of the recipe. So I'm just going to demonstrate how this works with a one I've already created. So just going to check the box next to this recipe, which is going to create a square crop. And it does that right here with the open width section where we're selecting the cropped square preset. And there's other presets you can use, but for the moment I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to click the process. Now that's already created the image and cropped it. To find that in the output location, a quick way to get there is just to click this arrow right here next to the destination. Pulls up the finder and there we go. We've got a square crop. So let's go back over here to process recipes. Let me show you how to create a new recipe from scratch with all the settings that you need to make it work well with cropped. Click the plus and, and this one, I'm gonna make it a PNG. Now you can name this anything you want. Um, I'm just naming it here to, to be clear what, what's actually going on, but call it whatever you want. So in the format, uh, as you might suggest, guess from the name, it needs to be a PNG because Crop's going to create a circle. The background of that circle needs to be transparent. And if you make this a JPEG, the background, Crop will make the background white. In order to get the transparent, that needs to be a PNG. We change the ICC profile to sRGB. It's good for images that you're going to be showing on a screen. And I'm going to leave the scale as fixed, but change it to 50%, just so the image is a little bit smaller by the time it gets to cropped. And then the magic happens here with the open width, where we select the crop recipe to uh, to use with or the rather the cropped preset, I guess you if you will, for this recipe. So I'm going to use a circle border. I want to make a circle with this. And the last step is to go over to adjustments. You want to turn off uh, cropping in Capture One. So instead of respect crop here in the adjustments panel. Change it to ignore crop. That way, when the plugin gets it, it will see all the pixels available in the image and then be able to create that cropped, uh, the, create the crop as best it can. So that's all we need to do to create a circle crop. I'm just going to uh, click this button first so it processes it and then click the arrow. And now we've got a new square because I did that one again and then the circle. And the circle with a little thin black border. So let's. Go back to Capture One and let me show you how to configure these presets for cropped that you can use in this menu, the Open With menu. You do that by going over to Capture One's Preferences and the Preference Panel. Panel On the far right of that is the Plugin section, which in this case is already selected. And then you choose the Cropped option. And this is the panel where you configure the presets for crop. So this first item on this on the menu or the first this first menu here is just the list of presets that are currently created and if you want to customize one you can just uh, select it so this is the one that we chose with this preset over here the circle border here uh, you can change the type between square hexagon or circle change the size this is the pixels of the width or the height uh, of of the image it since these are basically all within a square image then this is just the max size is going to be full size of the, the PNG or the JPEG. Now, this, if you turn this checkbox off, it doesn't put any border around the image. And this, uh, turning it on, allows you to set the border width in pixels and then select a color. And if you choose a custom color, then you can also customize the color further by just putting in your own hex code there for whatever color you'd like. For example, let me just make this a different color that's green. Now, yeah, so when you type in the code or, or co copy and paste the code in here, uh, if crop detects it as a color that it, it uh, can recognize, it has the right number of digits and they're all correct hex code, then it will update this border color menu with a preview of the color that you've chosen. Unfortunately, there's no way to put an actual color picker here in this panel. This is the best I could come up with to uh, create custom colors. Um, and then I'm going to change this to green border. So what I'm going to do is create a new new preset. I'm just going to change the name 
and then just save new preset. So now we see we've got circle, circle border, and circle green border. And, and that's how you do presets. Let's go back over here. Now, because I just created a new preset, Capture One doesn't know that that's here yet. So in order to kind of get Capture One to refresh this menu, just select a different recipe and come back and it will be there. So now it's the green border. I'm going to turn this one off and process this again. And now we've got an image with a really tiny green border. So that's how to use cropped in Capture One for uh, using it with recipes. Um, if you are interested in learning more about cropped, if you don't have it yet, please check out getcropped.com. And there is a free 30-day trial uh, for that you can sign up for. And while you're on the website, please sign up for the newsletter so you get updates on Capture One, Cropped, and some of the videos that I'm doing here. I'm Robert Reed. Thanks for watching.